Greetings and welcome to today's 1245 devotional. I'm Pastor Stephen Ryan. Glad to be here with you this day. And for my reflection and our time of prayer together, I'd like to focus on uh, this theme that Pastor Eric and I have chosen for our um, month of January and February to preach on. And it's uh, the subject of one anothering. It's focusing on the love one another, fellowship with one another, um, etc. throughout the, the, the passages in the Bible that encourage us to do uh, with one another in, in ministry. And this coming Sunday, Pastor Erica will be preaching on loving one another in, uh, in church. And uh, so I just thought I would uh, share some thoughts about that in anticipation. I hope you'll either uh, attend worship this Sunday or, or tune in. Um, the theme this Sunday is love one another. Last, last week we focused on fellowship with one another. This week we focus on loving one another. And um, in this book, uh, the author, Richard Meyer, um, <clears throat> has a, a, a verse that I'd like to just share with you. Jesus went up on a mountainside and called to him those he wanted, and they came to him. He appointed twelve, designating them apostles, that they might be with him, and that he might send them out to preach and drive out demons. The author, uh, in the section that that passage is taken from, um, makes the point that as Jesus loves the world and, and loves those around him, he does so with the disciples very intentionally. He goes and he cho chooses these disciples with whom to invest his time to deepen their relationship and to... Um, in a sense, build a small group of people that will, if you think about um, how they have transformed the world, is, is an amazing, amazing thing. And um, as I read that and, and think about Jesus' intentionality and what can come from a small group, um, I, my thoughts harken back to the early days of Lord of Life when uh, it was just a small group that gathered together and said to themselves, what about a ELCA Lutheran Church in Baxter, Minnesota? Do you suppose that uh, God would bless this endeavor? And um, they prayed, they had Bible study, um, they invested time in each other, and no doubt they loved one another uh, in that uh, in that gathering at the very very earliest time at Lord of Life and from from that small group uh, our congregation grow grew into what what it is now today and um, it's impossible to capture um, the power of the ministry that grew out of that um, investment that intentionality that they had to meet with one another on a regular basis. And uh, it's my hope that, that this one anothering series will spur you and many others in our uh, congregation and, and the broader community to uh, invest time in one another, loving one another in the context of a small group. And uh, I know from my own personal experience, um, and I've been part of many, many small groups over the years, um, that it is just a powerful experience personally. Um, and it's also a powerful experience in, uh, and, and, and a, uh, can be a vehicle for incredible uh, change in the world. So that is my, my thought today. And I would like to just spend a little time with you in prayer. Um, before we pray, I am mindful that we, uh, we've, we're in epiphany now. Um, the 6th of January is, um, uh, past us now and, uh, is, is, uh, the epiphany, um, season. Um, I am mindful that, uh, we have, um, celebrated the anniversary this past week of uh, 
uh, terrible events on the on the Capitol. And so uh, my heart is uh, the desire to pray for our country. So let us pray. Gracious God, we give you thanks that you call us into community, that uh, you and your gospel moves us beyond some sort of single solitary um, expression of faith to live that out in the midst of a community of people and especially a small community of people, um, a small group. Lord, we pray your blessing on the one anothering series and uh, also those who are gathering to discuss this book, One Anothering. We pray that we may be faithful and fruitful for you. We pray also for our country, that uh, we might be a, a positive presence in it and that um, your, um, your will will be made known to all and uh, lived out by all in our world. We also pray for ourselves and uh, pray for your, um, a sense of your presence throughout our day. In your name we pray. Amen. Uh, God bless you wherever you are.